Hey guys, up to Sunday here. Welcome to my first video. Now, I'm playing The Shattering. This is a game that, for as far as I can tell, it's pretty much uh, story driven, walk around, try to piece things together. And I think you're playing as somebody and you're trying to figure out who he is from his past and everything. And yeah, you're just trying to piece things together. So I'm just going to jump right into this. I'm not exactly sure what to expect with this, but I'm expecting a very story driven game right now. Prologue analysis. The patient seems to be stable and ready for the next session. I'll try to reassure. I'll try to reason with him about the latest events. Through, though we struggle, I proceed with optimism. Doctor W. Richards. Because that's probably gonna be one of the main characters in the game. I'm not exactly sure what this is all about. All I know is that some do it memories and something about walking around and it's basically like a exploring adventure kind of game. So let's see. Once it's done loading. Okay. Press anybody can do. A different dose this time. Okay. I know you're tired, John, but we need to take you deeper. We must try again. I know you think everything is all right. All right, I'm assuming that then I'm John. Me, why can't you even remember her name? I don't know who she right. is. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? Yep, yeah, I'm ready to go. I would like you to look directly into the pendulum. And follow it with your eyes. Yes, just like that. When I count down from three to zero, imagine yourself here in this room. Try to relax. Let your memories guide you. Yes, yes, good, now. Let's begin. Three, two, two, one, and go. Zero. Can you All hear right. Me, John? I'm right here. Oh, it's a little sensitive. I see Where are you? Trouble settling in. Let's take it slowly. All right. I want you to think of something that will help you see clearly. You have the power to influence everything here. So I want you to help yourself. Oh, hey. All right, so we have blue pills and we have glasses. Well, if it's about me seeing properly, I probably want to take the glasses. Interesting choice, John. Interesting choice. I mean, it kind of seemed like the obvious choice. I want you to imagine yourself standing up from that chair. Okay. Good. But there's something missing. Let's make sure you're oriented. What do you mean? Walk around her. My voice and focus on it. I'm assuming it's probably that tape recorder, but maybe it could be something else. I'm just gonna take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing else here. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else, so it must be that. Okay, I had to zoom in on those weird. Okay. Did you see that, John? Not you really. You imagined yourself in a room with no detail, but with a little effort, you were able to remember. Okay. The truth is buried inside of you. There's more to your life than this chair or this room. You must remember. Okay, be kind of cool if I knew what I was trying to remember exactly. Okay, so we got some more pills. We got a light. Let's see what else we got here. What do we got here to play with? Time here is only an illusion. Can I mess around the clock? No, I can't mess around the a clock. A moment can seem a lifetime. Examine that. And a okay. lifetime can seem just a moment. I gotta say, the design of this actually pre seems pretty good. The way that everything is being presented looks really, really Playing nice and sick. Playing games slick. is just a distraction, John. All right, do I have an objective here? That's what I want to know. I need to remember something. So John, I've looked at pretty much let's everything. continue. I want you to take a step back. Did you mean to do that, do or you was it just your imagination? You here? Oh my god, wow, wow. There's going to be tough choices making this game. I wanted to see what would happen, and I didn't do anything. Well, I'm not going to lie, so I just want to see what would Are happen. Are you satisfied? Kinda. A little bit. 
Let's see. Ooh, what's that? Pick up. Okay, so yes, surname. John, oh. you were at the hospital. Do you remember why? Not really, but I want to read this to figure out why. Uh, let's see, what is it? What is it? So I'm here because I was unconscious. I have alcohol in my body, I'm assuming. I was in a car accident. Oh shit, I was fucking driving drunk. Okay, I was driving drunk. Uh, obstruction, possible injury, problem. Uh, pulse, pre pulse present, eternal, possible internal modular, blah blah blah. Hmm. Okay, so I have a fracture on my head. Oh, I have a foreign body in my head, so something must have went through my head when I got in a car accident after I was driving and drinking. Uh, let's see what else is there. Primary, or oxygen, longboard, bag. Okay, mass ventilation, respiratory rate. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Okay, so... From what I know, I was in a car accident, and I was drinking and driving. So I probably killed somebody. Let's just see what else there is. Can this tell me anything? Not everything is as it seems. Okay, January 13th, 2015. Don't be afraid to look closer. Try to remember. I must run Caesar, who's the blame for change. Alright, so there's probably going to be a lot of choices I can make in this game. How to save money, who to blame. Huh. Okay, let's see what else I can find around here. Can I weigh myself? How much should I weigh? The newspaper, John. Look closely at it. Okay, so I weigh 155. I'm pretty light. Okay, what am I looking for exactly? Do oh, okay, I zoomed in. Now? Okay, maybe the can zoom... Oh. see the accident? Not really, but maybe if I zoom in, maybe that's when I can actually see things that are not supposed to be there. Let me, let me try to turn this around. Can I zoom in on that? No. Oh. Through some kind of PTSD right now. Okay. <clears throat> John. John. The accident. Always the accident. Hmm. John, can you hear me? Take a deep breath. You are overwhelmed. We need to try something different. Your mind is conflicting with your memories. Let's try smaller steps. Hmm. I want you to think about where you were. Before the accident. Okay, well, what did you I do was... What did you see? What did you hear? I was doing something. I don't know. I have to figure something out. Each moment will help you remember. Oh, hey, whoa. Okay. Okay, what was that Keep noise? Keep going, John. Okay, I don't know if this is actually like a horror game or not. I don't know if something's gonna jump Playing out at me. games is good, John. Okay, I was traveling somewhere, I'm assuming. Let's see, alright, what do we got here? Room a six, card, one, one. Which door does it open? It opens up at the Ozar Motel. I have to come towards this crack. No. Can I crouch? No, I can't. Alright, so I have to figure something else here. So, I was at the Ozar Hotel and I have room 611. That's as far as I know. Let's see what else I can find around here. Can I take my suitcase? No. Can I come here? No. Oh. Turn that off. Okay, so I have to find some way to get possibly... Find a link to oh, take you okay. back, John. Okay, so I gotta walk around, and I think that's how I activate things. I think that's how I progress. I have to find stuff that's, that's around. It, John. Remembering will open new doors. I'm actually quite curious if this is like a I horror game. To if something's gonna chase me. Don't be afraid to go deeper without me. Go. 
and tell me your story, John. All right, so I have to find room 611. That was me. But that's blue, so I want to go check what that out is first. Before I go in there. Okay. You're a second to get up? No. I can't remember if that was supposed to be, freak me out a little bit. All right, so that's locked, so there's nothing I could actually do here, so I probably have to go inside of my room 611. See what's inside this room for me right now. Act one: the hotel navigation. Navigating recent memories has proven difficult. The patient has found anchors from before the accident. The memories recalled have led him to the gates of the hotel. All right, all right. Let's see how it is. So I'm only in Act one right now. So I would, I'm guessing that this means that I'm going to look at things that happened right before the accident, probably. I'm probably going to be inside the hotel room, and then that's probably where I'm going to see the alcohol, and then maybe that's where I'm going to make some kind of choice or something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I'm at the hotel. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Can I take my bag? No, I can't take my bag. All right. Let me on in. The perfect place to get inspired for writing. Welcome. 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 Bienvenue. Oh, okay. It's just welcome in different languages. Perfect place to get inspired of writing. Inspirations of writing. Okay, let's see. I don't know how many doors I can actually go through. Can't go through that one. Can't go through that one. Cannot go through this one either. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, so I probably have to go upstairs. So I'll probably just leave that bag right here. Reception. Okay, my bag is actually just going to follow me around as I go. I think that's what's going to be going. I'll be right back. The amount I'll give... Wait. That's all right. It'll give me time to think of some ideas for the book. All right. Well, I'm just getting it on upstairs. Let's see what we got here. We got closed. Closed. Chairs moving. Something about science. Nothing. Nothing here that's scientific, as far as I can tell. Perhaps history. Oh, okay. I, I have the choice. Okay, so. There's that, so I have the choice if I want to write about science or history. Well, you know what? I actually enjoy history. For real. In real life, I enjoy history, so I'm going to write about history. Alright, so let's see what we've got. We have whatever that is, whatever that is, and that. What is it? History of Pomeranian. Okay. And then we have an hourglass. And then we have this phase. This isn't the time for historical research. So does that mean that I picked the wrong choice or no? Okay, that could be that I probably picked the wrong choice. Maybe. Hey, I can go down to the bar now, though. All right, let me just check one thing. Can I sit down and learn about science? That's what I'd like to know. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? We have a ruler. We have whatever that is. Oh, cigarettes. Take a little chalkboard. Nothing suspicious about that. Okay, let's see. We have the magnifying glass. That ain't gonna do anything either. And okay, yeah, we just threw everything down. Okay, all right, too dry. I want something more exciting. Okay, so I could probably head down to the bar now because I see that the bar is actually open. Reception is not here yet, so I can't do anything. That's all right. It'll give me more time to think of some ideas. Okay. So more things are floating, so there's probably more things that I can actually do here. Let's see, what's this one about? Maybe romance. And what's this one? Oh, I didn't move close enough. This one is about a crime story. Well, a crime story actually sounds like it's probably more interesting than romance. I'll give it that. So let's see what we got. I probably have to do all of these for all I know. Take, flashlight. Okay, all the chairs are coming down. And what else is here? Lockpick. Hmm. Maybe some other time. Alright, so I don't know if I have to actually go through all of these or not. But my suitcase is right here, so I probably have to come this way, actually. Let me check. Can I sit down? Can I do anything? It doesn't appear that I can do anything as of right now. Can I look at this brochure? Yes, I can. 
All right, contact us for more info, please, right through azarhotel.com. If I want to wrap it, if you actually Google that website, Azar Hotel. About us, Azar Hotel has received guests continu continuously since 1960s, become more popular and more popular. We employ highly qualified and local staff who help take care of your comfort and privacy. Luxurious and spacious rooms, excellent cuisine delivered to your room, unlimited access to Wi-Fi, access to Wi-Fi and television, spa and gym available 24 hours. Price $120. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That would be. That's not too bad. This seems like a pretty decent hotel. All right, so I probably do have to do all these. So I'm probably just gonna see what I can do. No, I can't do anything this time. What if I sit on this one? Okay, I don't think the lights were actually on earlier. Okay, let's see what else I can do around here. Can't touch that. There's absolutely nothing that I know that I can do right now. Let me try going back upstairs. I feel like there's probably going to be quite a bit of exploring in this game if you want to figure out everything that's going on. Okay, so let's see what else is there. Nothing here. Everything is closed off right now, so there's nothing I can do. Hmm. Maybe, actually, maybe one of these doors. Okay, that's still closed. Can I take the elevator? Oh, hey, all right, so I'm making some progress, I think. Let's see now, what floor can I go to? Oh, I'm on floor zero right now. Or is floor zero the basement? It's probably the basement. <clears throat> all right, so let's see where this is gonna take me this time. Okay. That did jack and jack shit. That didn't help with anything whatsoever. Okay, where exactly? Where am I supposed to go? That's still locked. That's still locked too. You coughed. Can I go outside? No? Can I? Ah, oh, fuck, door's locked. I can't go outside. Alright, so I seem to be at a little bit of a loss right now. I'm not entirely sure what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like as if probably I have to get through that door. But I don't know any way I can get across this right now. Oh! Oh my god, I can sit down because my freaking briefcase here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty dumb and blind, I guess. Just one glass to get the ideas flowing. Much better. Okay, I gotta say, the physics are pretty good in this game. Actually, this gives me an idea. Drama. Do I have choices? No? No choices? Okay. Okay, so it looks like as if, from what I can tell, I'm some kind of story writer, and I came to this hotel to try to get some ideas. And I got drunk, and I saw a floating orb. Alright, let's go follow that orb, I guess. Yes, this will be perfect. Ding, ding. Oh, wait, wait. A story to remember. No one will see it coming. I was expecting a monster to come. I'm like, I'm like still half expecting this to be a horror game, but I'm not entirely sure if it actually is going to be a Oh, somebody jumped off the balcony. Okay. Is her ghost going to come and get me? Alright, what, what do I do now? Okay, I need to find my briefcase, because my briefcase usually tells me where it is I need to go. And I can't open up this door. So my briefcase is still right there. Okay. All right. Hello. Mr. Evans, we are glad to inform you that your room is ready. Please sign into the guest book. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take you, and I'm just gonna sign in. J. Evans. Thank you. We wish you a pleasant stay. Take my key card. Okay, so all the pieces are starting to come together now. So now I need to get to room to 611. I probably
probably have to take the elevator up there. That would be my guess. Okay, and up to the sixth floor now. Okay, what was that? Thought I saw something. Okay, I'm not gonna follow my briefcase right now. I'm gonna go explore a little bit. Okay, that doesn't open. Okay, there's nothing to really explore, so I might as well just walk forward. And see where this takes me. Briefcase. Briefcase, you gotta give me clues. I gotta know where I'm going. 601, 602, 6011, somewhere down there, I guess. Okay, alright, I gotta figure this out now. I feel like there's probably some kind of puzzle I'm supposed to figure out right now. What's up? Oh, okay, turn off the light switch. Okay, yeah, so there are some puzzles in this game, it seems, that you have to do little things. Okay, my character's probably a fucking drunk at this point in the game. Spend time at the bar. That pillow, that painting's tilted. Oh, hey, what's that? Picture of half a face. That may be a clue for something. Sh shreds of memory. Can I call anyone? Something I can do with that. Let's see now. 611. That is my room. There are no doors in this place. Let us see. 601. Six, okay, it's just repeating now. I'm noticing that now. Okay. Mr. Evans, there's a woman calling for you. She seems very concerned. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I can actually see all these things now. I hope I can focus once I get to my room. That's not my room. My room is 611. These people are so annoying. Okay, I'm probably going through some kind of memory right now. This door is locked. I was promised some peace and- Oh, okay, I'm probably being an asshole right now. I'm knocking everybody's door. Okay, the floor's starting to go a little black. I'm not enjoying that right now. I'm really not enjoying that right now. Okay, let's see. 610? Okay, here's my room. Okay. Let's see what's inside this hotel room. Okay, bathroom's locked. I don't know why it would be locked, but okay. Turn on lights, let's see what we got here. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Finally, peace and quiet. A secret to calm down and my typewriting as I need. Is all I need. Okay, we're gonna click on. Turn on the light. Is there anything I can interact with in here? The phone? I can't call anyone, I've already tried that, it doesn't work. So what I need is, I guess I need my cigarettes and my typewriter. Open window, get some fresh air in here. You. Ah, nice bedroom. Okay, let's see what's in here now. Ooh, chocolate. Okay, so there's a little bit of exploring that I can actually do right now. Holy Bible, they always got those in hotels. That doesn't change, so I could probably get my typewriter out. I need a quick smoke before starting. Okay, can I smoke outside this window? No? Okay. Alright, so I need to probably find my cigarettes somewhere. Where would they be, though? That's my question. Enter a four-digit number and press any key. Operating instructions. This is your own four-digit personal code. To close, choose a number by entering a four-digit number and pressing the start uh, pound key. Okay. What 
Dell it said I can make my own thing though. I just want to make my own. Maybe it does. Maybe it can't be all the same number. I'll try a different one. One, two, three, four. No. All right. Anything in there? No. Nothing in there. Anything in this one? A couple of photos. It's kind of weird. All right. So I probably need to find my cigarettes right now. Well, I found my lighter at least. So now my cigarettes. Where would they be? Where would my cigarettes be? Cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, hey, we got a piece of paper. Pick up. Introduction. John walks into the room and pauses in the narrow hallway. There's a, there's a door on his left, but it occurred to be closed. On the right, there was a wardrobe with sliding doors along the entire length of the wall. The room was dark. John set his suitcase on the doorway and walked towards the darkness to find the light switch. He was accompanied by an unpleasant sensation coming from the darkness. He quickly turned on the light. John looked around. The room seemed bright and clear now, just as he would expect the hotel room to look like. There was a small corner with a bar. Fold-in door. Probably leading to the sleeping area. Insizable desk. Perfect for work. Opening the folding door, John was as suspected he found himself in the bedroom. He put the suitcase on the bed and looked inside. Rather, second thought, he took out the typewriter and placed it on the desk. He then decided to check the bathroom. The second door leading to it was also closed. From the inside was coming the soft sound of water coming out of the shower. Concerned, John decided to check the rest of the shower. I'll have to go check the bathroom now. John went to the night table on the right side of the bed, but found only Bible in the drawer. In the second night table, he found his lighter. However, he could not find the bathroom key anywhere, but the desired right was stronger than explaining the issues of the closed bathroom. John felt he had to smoke. Where did he leave his cigarettes? He usually kept them in his coat. After he found all his stuff, he was ready to start writing his story. So they're inside my coat, it seems, but where is my coat? So I need to find my coat somewhere. Hey, can I turn you on? No, I can't turn you on. Okay. Alright, so I need to find my coat. Where's my coat? John, where'd you leave your coat? John, where did you leave your coat? I have really no idea where the hell I could have left my coat. Is that my coat? No, that's not my coat. Alright, so I need to find my coat right now. That's what I'm looking for, but I don't really be able to I don't really think I could see it anywhere. Just close up everything. Coat, 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 coat. Where are you, coat? You're not hanging up, I'll tell you that much. Okay, open an instruction. Use the phone just because it closed, close up. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. All I know is I have to find my cigarettes, but why I need to find my coat? Lighter, check. Typewriter, check. All I need is a cigarette, but where are the cigarettes right now? Let's see. There's not too many places I can actually check in here, though. That's the thing. Unless my coat's in here, maybe? Ah, there you are. There's my cigarettes. Alright, the game is saved, and now we have a blue projector on the screen. But anyways, this is where I'm all out of time, so this is where I'm going to cut the video. If you guys like the pre if you guys like my first video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye.